On the floor, for Iowa State starting five will be Crooks, Brown, Dew, Bellinger, and Ryan. For Oklahoma, Tot, Verholz, Keys, Van, and Williams. Iowa State wearing their home whites. They win the opening tip. And Oklahoma wearing their away uniforms with white numbers as we get set to see how this one plays out here this evening. Dew will launch right away and hit. That's a good sign for Iowa State. Nymer Dew has struggled a little bit offensively the last several games. And the freshman, Sahara Williams, can't get at the fall. And the rebound to Addie Brown. Iowa State 10-1 and one at Hilton Coliseum this year. 4-0 and oh against Big 12 competition as Crooks is called for a walk. Oklahoma, the pace, the Sooners. One and done here so far tonight. Brown on the block. Do the dump down to Crooks. And will go to the line to shoot two. Nevaeh Tot called for the foul. Averaging about 18 points per game on the season. But in Big 12 play, those numbers are even better. Crooks able to get one out of two. Oklahoma winners of seven straight games. And a foul is going to be called on Oklahoma. That's on Sahara Williams. There will be pretty liberal subbing for Iowa State, particularly in the post. Snell, not taboo, into the contest for Iowa State. Here's Brown. Short, and the rebound to Verholz. Verholz. Boy, the pace has been Oklahoma's favor, and they're able to tie this one up. Oklahoma, one of the best teams in the nation as far as sharing the basketball, averaging over 20 assists per game. Here's Ryan for three. Emily Ryan able to dial it up. Now Todd can't get it to fall, and a foul going to be here as Skyler Bank. And Van able to knock down the front end. They can get up and down the floor. They can also slow it down. And as you can see, highly successful, especially in Big 12 conference play. It's a one-point contest here. Oklahoma to their bench as Beatrice Culleton will check in for the first time. The sophomore from Overland Park, Kansas, and Iowa State turns it over. Well, Coach Bronchek talked to us a little bit yesterday about this team and their, their offensive strategy and tactic. She teaches a lot of read and react offense, not a lot of set plays. And she said sometimes it takes your team a little bit to adjust to that throughout the season. What a collision there from Colleton to Nataboo, and Iowa State able to get the bucket. Ariana Jackson will check in for the first time, along with Emily Ryan, and also in for the first time is Jalen Bristow. Vans jumper from the baseline is good. And it's a one-point game. Cyclones coming into this one. A very good rebounding team. In fact, it's out-rebounded its opponent 20 times so far this season. As you see, the bank three by Jalen Bristow. Tot with the answer. Not there. Van with another offensive board. And Colton on that side able to get the rebound in the putback. Here's Brown going to work on Ben. Now the skip pass to Bristow. Shot clock winding down inside of five. And the steal by Verholst. Here's Tot. Verholst for three. And Oklahoma. And they're playing with a ton of confidence, winning seven games in a row coming into this. Bristow tried to enter it. Going to be taken away by Todd and a foul. Jenny Baranchek at Oklahoma has done nothing but win in her third season overall. Led the Sooners to the second round of the NCAA tournament. And back-to-back 25-plus win seasons. And last year, Big 12 Conference champs. Trying to 
end their run in the Big 12 with another championship and right now lead the league. LeBron check the Des Moines native. Iowa basketball in the state of Iowa, that is, means a lot to her. Spent nine years at Drake, played at the University of Iowa, from Central Iowa herself, has an Iowan on her roster. Hannah Bellinger back in the lineup for Iowa State. So they've got Aubrey Jones. And Bellinger gets the inbounds and the end one. So both Jones sisters out on the floor. It's an Audrey Jones bring some of that to the Sooners as well, as you just saw. Verholz, the deep three. Wow. That's her third triple of the opening quarter. And Oklahoma leads it by one. Skip pass to Jackson. Takes the jumper and able to knock it down. Iowa State's bench has been really good, averaging over 22 points a game this season, or 30% of their points have come from off the bench. And, of course, the dean of coaches in the Big 12 Conference, Bill Fennelin, his 29th season overall, three Big 12 tournament titles, and, of course, how about that, 18 WNBA draft picks, including Stephanie Suarez, who signed officially with the Dallas Wings earlier this week. Of course, drafted third overall a year ago. Now putting pen to paper in Dallas. Oklahoma out in front. Seesaw battle. Crooks. A low block position. Good luck. Kirsten Johnson does have the height. She has the length. But Adi Crooks definitely has the strength. Ties this one up and now takes the lead. Now three of four from the line. As Verholst, who has had the hot hand, will this time drive it. Can't get the scoop shot. This one stays with Oklahoma. Shot clock should have reset, but it doesn't matter. A three that's knocked down by Todd. Eight offensive rebounds for Oklahoma in this first quarter. It was a concern of Iowa State head coach Bill Fenley coming into this one. Was staying strong on the glass. Now a turnover. Todd up with it. Nevea will attack the rack and get a deuce. Here's Dew. Blocked by Johnson. Jones for three. And Jackson with the rebound and will be fouled by Kennedy Tucker. That'll be her first. Will be the fifth team foul on Oklahoma. And the want to that area on a Jackson this freshman brings, particularly on the defensive side for Iowa State. Game in, game out. She picks up that most challenging defensive assignment in the guard court. Makes one out of two. Lead at three for OU. Van back in there. And no effects from that collision. Able to knock down the 15-footer. Ryan will look to enter it to the corner. Bellinger. Five-point sooner lead. The three, and it, the bank is low. You started this game one for their first six from the field. Brown, the baseball pass. It's going to be picked off by Band. She's got a chance. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Oklahoma. Iowa State, not a single offensive rebound. With Molly Parrott, B.J. Shabin with you here at Hilton Coliseum. Sahara Williams gets stripped on her way by Addie Brown. Out on the floor for Oklahoma. Scott Verholz, Keys, Van, and Williams. Here's Audie Crooks, one of those stars. That's her first field goal of the game. And Crooks now with five. Well... All those Iowans that played on here, most of them, Williams, one of them, Jackson, all part of the all-Iowa attack AAU team. As Williams able to knock down that jumper. Quite an elite program known nationally. As here's Crooks, the kick out to Jones for three. What focus by Kelsey Jones. For Holst to Williams. What a quick step to her left. Very strong, very athletic. And like you said, it's that quick step that allows her to go up and over the top, score that easy bucket. 
The other night against TCU really closed the door on the Horn Frogs with nine in the fourth quarter. Emily Ryan able to knock down her second triple. She's got eight. For a whole good position as she was posting up on Jackson. Ryan's pass. Aaron. When you have six in the first quarter, now they're up to eight for the game. Verholz. Very nice. Well, Bill Fenley said Peyton Verholz is playing at a Big 12 player of the year. Here's Bellinger. And Verholz with the steal. Numbers for Oklahoma, but Verholz will hold back. Now underneath, Ban left alone and will lay it up and in. Out on the floor for Iowa State, not a boo. Jackson, Dew, Jones, and Brown. Nightmare Dew. The shot by Tucker. Bring it up. Ryan will enter it to Crooks to Dew for three. Got it. Nightmare Dew. Bright spot for Iowa State this evening. Seven points, three of six from the field. Raina Scott now into the game for Oklahoma. The dump down. Here's Van. Caught up in traffic and it will be taken away by Ryan. And Van, the quick hands, able to take that one away for Oklahoma. Scott and a blocking foul on Dew. Only thing that hasn't gone their way. And coming up the half for Iowa State, we'll be talking to one of the legends of this program, Stacy Freeze. That'll be coming up the half. Plus more as a travel's called here on the floor against Audie Crooks. Oklahoma bringing that double team, something that Audie has seen plenty of this year. The double team comes and just shuffles her feet. Tucker on the drive and will be able to finish it. Her first make of the night. And the lead back to 11. One of the few baskets for Oklahoma that hasn't resulted from an assist. Ryan guarded tightly on the wing. Now gets it to Crooks. Tries to avoid the double team, but Oklahoma first forces the turnover. Driving in, Scott able to lay it up and in. What a terrific crowd here at Hilton Coliseum tonight. To say the least, they're surly through this first half. Now Ryan. That's her third three of the first half. She's got nine. Well, just when it seems like Iowa State needs a big bucket, there's Emily Ryan to knock down a triple. Four of five from the field. And Jones able to get the bucket here. A 12-point deficit for Iowa State. They've got the ball. Mentioned Ryan with 11, had 18 the other night, other day against Central Florida. Do. No. Shot clock off. Oklahoma will hold for the last shot. Scott gets a screen high. Now we'll take the jump shot and hit it right at the end of the first half. Oklahoma is going to take a 14-point lead into the locker room. Out on the floor for the Sooners. They've got Tot, Burholz, Keys, Ban, and Williams for Iowa State. It'll be Natabu, Jackson, Dew, Ryan, and Jones. Berholz will attack the glass and draw contact. Those turnovers that are just killing the Cyclones. Foul on Jones now with 14 and make it 15. We're making it awfully difficult for Audie Crooks to score. She's gotten some touches clearly. She has five assists in this game but she's only one of one from the field. Can't get the end one but we'll go to the line. Oklahoma has had those two locked down tonight. Crooks able to hit the front end of the two shot. 
Well, and this is by far a season high assist or a career high assist for Audie Crooks. As I mentioned, she has five. Keys for three. And Williams doing some work. A little too much effort on the block. Addie Brown back into the lineup. Joined by Ryan, Jones, Crooks, and Jones. And Emily Ryan able to knock down the jumper. She has 13. Here's Keys for three. Got it! Ryan, the entry to Crooks. Right back to Crooks from Brown. And when she catches and attempts to score, she draws fouls. Mighty Crooks with just one field goal tonight. Six of seven from the line. Make it seven of eight into the game. Kennedy Tucker for the Sooners. Verholst on the drive. And an offensive foul, wipe off the basket. Some foul trouble by a couple of starters for Oklahoma. Williams sitting on the bench with four, Verholst with three. And Oklahoma will pick up their fifth team foul. So Hattie Brown at the line looking for her first point of the night and able to get it here. Came into the game averaging over 13. Yeah, sometimes the free throw line is a good place to do it. Fullerton with a solid defense on the block. Again, just one made field goal. But then fresh, freshman in the front court for Iowa State who have been outstanding all season. And Kirsten Johnson back on this end, able to knock down the shot. And a foul going to be called on Oklahoma, and Ariana Jackson will now go to the line. And there. Jackson able to hit both free throws. Now Ariana with five, and the lead back to 11. Fullerton, the entry to Johnson. Tough shot, Brown with the tough defense and gets the rebound. Out ahead to Bellinger. Oklahoma with a good get back defense. This is going to be kicked away. Like you said, three starters in foul trouble. Their offense just not quite clicking like it did in the first half. And Iowa State, they have yet to turn the ball over in this second half for 15 turnovers in the first two quarters. Brown to Natabu. Strong move and will go to the line. Colleton will pick up the foul. Each of them knocking down a bucket, but what I'm impressed with is the rebounding, and I mentioned it earlier. When you're talking about a Jones playing basketball, you can expect all effort all the time, and Aubrey Jones with five rebounds in addition to her one basket. Kelsey Jones with three rebounds in addition to her one three-pointer. They're doing that in just 10 and 15 minutes of action, respectively. Not taboo, a little too strong on the... Second opportunity. You see Iowa State's free throw numbers. Oklahoma 5 of 8. As the Sooners have Culleton, Tott, Tucker, Johnson, and Jones out on the court. Brown with a rebound for Iowa State. She's joined by Natabu, Jackson, Dew, and Bellinger. Well, after scoring 27 points in the first quarter, Oklahoma with just 7 in the first 6 minutes of this third. And Iowa State able to make this an eight-point game. Here's Jones for three. Got it. What an answer for Aubrey Jones in Oklahoma. Wow, what a bucket to silence the crowd. And that'll be turned over. Iowa State, they're turning the basketball over. That's the first giveaway for the Cyclones in this second half after doing it 15 times in the first. That is something that is much improved. Taunt on the cutter. Gets the layup. That's all before the selection Sunday on March 17th when you can see the field of the team of 68 revealed at Eastern on ESPN. Out of the timeout. Iowa State unable to get the bucket. Oklahoma 
Goes with Jones again for three. She is on fire. How about this? Aubrey Jones back-to-back threes for the Sooners. And right when they needed big buckets, she was there to deliver. That last one, my goodness, catch and shoot. There was no time for a defender to even get there. And the travel going to be called on Audie Crooks. Tot at the point here for the Sooners. In Oklahoma, a couple of players in foul trouble, but they go very deep. Tant will enter it to Colleton. Tough shot and able to get it to go down off the glass. Well, we mentioned earlier in this first half, that's high-octane offense. Here's Brown backing in with the right hand. Patty Brown able to get her first shot from the field to go down. Tucker to Colleton. We got some clearance on Nataboo, and now a foul. Able to get the free throw to go down. Colleton now with five points, three rebounds, three assists. That's in 17 minutes of play. Ryan to Nataboo. Gets the right and shot to go down. Not, a boo, not often called upon for much of a scoring load, but does have five tonight. Cyclone still with just one player in double figures, and that's Emily Ryan at 13. Raina Scott on the drive and finish. They are just so deep. My goodness. Bellinger's three. Got it. And a foul on the floor called against Oklahoma. And Natsubu's first free throw, not there. Over a two-week span in three different games against Kansas, West Virginia, and Baylor, down as many as 19, that one against West Virginia. So they have come from behind in the past in this building. Can they do it again tonight? Since mid-January. Bristow inside to Brown. And a takeaway by Landry Allen, the freshman who just checked in. The 6'3 freshman from Tuttle, Oklahoma, makes her presence felt. What a play for the freshman. Like you said, just entered the game. Talk about providing an impact play. Lead at 14. Here's Scott. Lost it, and that'll be the end of the third quarter. Molly Parrott, B.J. Shaver along with you out on the floor to begin the fourth quarter for Oklahoma. It's Colitz and Tot, Verholz, Keys, and Van. And for Iowa State, it's Ryan, Bellinger, Jones, Brown, and Crooks. It's interesting, B.J., that Oklahoma offense really cooking in the first half and in the third quarter stalled a little bit. It looked like Iowa State, they would made a little bit of run. We're making things interesting. And Oklahoma with some huge baskets by some key players off the bench. And a foul going to be called here on Keys at the top. That'll be her second, the team's first, here in the fourth quarter. Here's Brown for three. Can't get it to fall and tot with the board for Oklahoma. Just a tough shooting night for the freshman. That one looked like it was about halfway down. Van got the entry back from Colleton. And gets the roll. Here's Brown. With the right hand, strong. Crooks with a rebound and put back. Tot open from the wing. And hits it. Patience on offense. Inside. Nadabu can't get it to go. They're going to call it an N1. That <laughs> maybe they were going to call it on the rebound. Skyler Van picking up her fourth foul. Lead at 15. For holes for three. Make it 18. 
Peyton Burhouse has had a night. And Oklahoma trying to do something they haven't done since their Final Four team in 2009 as Nymir Du knocks down that three. Burhouse the keys to Tot. She'll take the three. Iowa State showed zone. As that ball is flipped out, last touch by Oklahoma. Because of the baseline out-of-bounds play situation, we'll see. Here's Crooks. As Crooks hits the... Crooks tonight, 12 points, 8 of 10 from the foul line. Here's Williams to Burholz. Can't get the jumper. Brown with the rebound. Iowa State being paced and scoring by Emily Ryan with 13. Crooks has 12. As for Holes, left open for three and buries the triple. Well, there have been so many great matchups between these two teams in the Big 12 Conference. This is the only time they play this year. It's a little bit of an end of an era. Does Iowa State have enough gas in the tank? Do they have some made shots to provide some sort of thrilling, thrilling ending? Four and a half minutes left. Not a lot of time. And we'll need some stops. That's going to be the last touch by Iowa State. So Colleton back into the lineup for Williams. 15-point lead for Oklahoma with 4.29 to play. Cyclones cannot afford turnovers, have to get good looks at the basket every possession. Cannot afford many misses, and Oklahoma, they want to take good care of the basketball. They've gotten a little sloppy with the basketball this second half. As Kennedy Tucker will look to throw it in. Van had to double clutch that one and able to get the jumper to go. Cyclones will need every bit of Hilton magic they can muster here. Brown able to knock down the basket. Each team just trading baskets here right now. Last couple of trips down the floor. Here's for Holst again left open and will knock down the three. How about this for Verholz, 24 tonight. Here's Jones on the inbound. She'll go to the line. That foul, the fifth on Sahara Williams, and she'll have to check out. Williams finishing the night with four points. Can her team finish it off? Three-point win against Kansas State. Five-point win against Kansas. Went down to Texas. One by four. Jones drive. Brown, the putback, not there. And able to get it to nine. Now three of four from the foul line on the night. Oklahoma shooting right at 46% from the field. They shot 45% the other night against TCU. So again, we mentioned they've been playing at a very high level. Here's Crooks. And Audi able to get the N1. This Oklahoma team kept plugging away, plugging away. We've mentioned earlier they're free-flowing offense and it's really more of a, a read and react offense it sometimes can take a little bit of time for your team to adjust Jackson for three after the hustle by Jones and this is going to stay with Iowa State high pass up top top's going to be called for the foul and Oklahoma Looking to get their 11th win in 12 games, and it would be the second-best all-time record for OU out of the gate since their Final Four team in 2009. And they've certainly done their damage in the Big 12. Sooners have won 11 Big 12 championships and played in the NCAA tournament 21 times since 1996. 
Jones able to knock down the free throws. 29 free throw attempts tonight for Iowa State. 18 of 29 as you see it there. It is not lost on this Oklahoma team. Coming on the road, Iowa State may be a few levels down as far as the Big 12 standings, but they know how challenging this arena is. Iowa State does not lose much in Hilton Coliseum. Fullerton to Verholz. And even though she's awkwardly kind of falling to the side because of that body control and that spin she puts on the basketball. Second largest point total of the season for Verholst. Now with 25. We mentioned earlier her season high was at 32 against Oral Roberts. As it has been a night. Here's Crooks. Can't get the shot to fall. Bristow, no. Rebound to Jones. And Oklahoma looking to go to 17 and 6 on the season, as we mentioned, get their 11th Big 12 win in 12 games. Pick to finish fifth in the Big 12 conference. And now, right now, ruling the roost. Bristow for three. And Oklahoma will have it, and they'll dribble out the game. And Oklahoma's going to win it 86-72 as they come on the road, and they win at Hilton Coliseum for the first time since 2017.